In this video, I'll show you how to get started using InfoPath with SharePoint Online. So the first thing that you'll need to have access to is InfoPath Designer. Now that does come with the E3 plans and anything with Office Pro Plus. Important thing to remember is that InfoPath will no longer be developed beyond the 2013 version. It's not part of Office 2016. It is, however, available to people who have an Office Pro Plus subscription so the way that you can get that um, with your subscription is basically what you need to do is log into your tenant you go into your office 365 settings at the top there the option will be displayed in your profile uh, that allows you to get access to your software so there's an option there to install software then you'll see that one of the options uh, under tools and add-ins okay is the ability to uh, get access to uh, InfoPath. So you select that download and install that will take you to a Microsoft link here and again you'll get the ability to download InfoPath. Now once you've downloaded and installed it you will need to verify it with a uh, valid license. So in this case uh, if I have a look here that I already have uh, for example InfoPath installed uh, on my system here. So again you'll see InfoPath Designer is here as an app that I can use and access. Now once I have that installed and licensed, what I can do is begin to change the standard forms that are part of our SharePoint team site. So as an example, if I go to my customer list, which is just a standard list of names and contact details, go in here and create a new item. So I'm going to go up to items and create a new item that I get a standard style uh, SharePoint form for inputting data. Okay, so all nicely laid out. Now, what I can do to start customizing this is that if I go into the list option up the top here and then I go to the uh, button here in the ribbon menu that says customize with InfoPath, select that. What that will do is that will automatically launch InfoPath on my desktop and will download the form um, into that and allow me to make customizations. Now, as soon as it downloads, you'll notice that it has a very different look and feel. So what I'm going to do here, for example, is I'm going to make one title field here bold and make it a bit bigger so it stands out. Okay, so that should look very different. And then up the top here, you'll see that there's an item to Quick Publish. So Quick Publish will push those changes, publish those changes back to my um, SharePoint item so that now when I go in and edit an item or create a new item that means that I will have a different look and feel for my form. Once that is done successfully if I go back into here and again go to items and select new what we'll see is we should see that we now have the info path form that was pushed up so as you can see this is now bold and a different format but you'll now see that the form looks very very different. Now obviously I can go back into InfoPath and I can uh, continue to customize this so for example here if I wanted to put a row above and then maybe I wanted to uh, put that field underneath here okay so what I'm going to do here is get rid of that and then move that into that field okay and in this case what I'm going to do is I'll delete this row okay so what I have is my attachments up the top and then maybe what I want to do is to bold uh, and also make that the same size okay so it stands out I can as you can see up the top here I can do things like I can change the different uh, look and feel I can put in pictures hyperlinks so the same sort of customizations you're used to in a word processor we can move these around create tables uh, again, InfoPath is, is really a very, very powerful product. But once we finish making those changes, we simply publish those changes. It will push that back up to the uh, SharePoint uh, app and then allow us to display that when we go in to edit or update or create new items. So again, that's successfully published. Go back in there and if I go into items and do a new item there, you should see that I have an updated form that was changed. So again, last name is now moved underneath the attachment and first name is bolded. Now, obviously, if you do make a mistake or you do want to put it back to the original, you certainly can do that. The way that you do that is you go to that app item, you go to list, 
you go into your library settings uh, that appears in the ribbon menu and then under general settings you'll find an option here called form settings okay now what we can do here is simply select the option here to use the default SharePoint forms the original ones and if we want we can also delete the info path form from the server so that will remove any copy that we did upload using info path okay so that should now uh, update that if we now go back into our list and again we go into items and create a new item and display the uh, original existing form so really that simple to work with so again what we do here basically is the first thing you need to do is to uh, download and obtain InfoPath, which is uh, available to Office 365 Pro Plus users, but because it has now been deprecated by Microsoft, uh, no future versions are being made after 2013. You'll need to download that independently and then uh, verify the subscription. Once you have that, you can go to a uh, location in your SharePoint team site and then what you can do is go to list and then select to customize the forms for that list in InfoPath. Once you have done that, then you can publish them back to SharePoint and use them as the, your default list. So again, pretty easy way to customize the entry and the display of uh, SharePoint apps within a team site using InfoPath.